how did you get into the topic with this book? The topic of the book? Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I've been a serial reader, one book after another, since I was a child. And I've read hundreds of books. And uh, this events of the 20th century, World War I, World War II, even back in the Franco-Prussian War of the uh, previous century, have been a, a, an interest of mine. I got a degree in international relations and political science. And I, you said this is the first comprehensive book you've read that starts from the beginning well, and goes yeah, through the book. Yeah. yeah, and that is interesting because reading these books on about these events in the 20th century, uh, they're treated World War One, um, the Hungarian Revolution, the uh, the uh, Spanish Civil War, World War Two are all treated as separate and distinct entities, without. Ref, very much reference to the other events. And it began to occur to me that these were not distinct individual isolated events at all, but were a pattern uh, that began uh, in 19, for even 18, uh, uh, 70, 71 with the Franco Prussian War. I would say you could even begin there and bring it all the way to the, to even to the present day, are all a string of related events. And uh, so that's, I thought that that needed to be treated that way, to start from the beginning and take it all the way through World War II. Okay. Now, if you, if you could just sum up your book, just like if you, if you had to kind of sum it up, um, what would you like, if you had to say to someone, here's what my book is about. What yeah, okay. The main theme, main theme of the book is the, is the mischaracterization of the Germans as a people and German nation. They've been totally mischaracterized. They've been made out to be by, by relentless propaganda, beginning with World War I and even going on today. If you tune into the History Channel, you see it even now. Mm -hmm. uh, this relentless anti-German propaganda, painting these people as somehow uniquely different from everybody else. They were uh, predisposed to uh, violence, predisposed to war, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, predisposed to following a, a dictator. Mm -hmm blindly following him, and um, anyway, where was I, uh, the... Um, well, about the how, how Germany, the German people have been it's villainized. It's been characterized as, as a, uh, anyway, uh, I said I, I read a lot, and I've started right. to read books written by Germans, German <laughs> soldiers, one I remember was the Deutschland uh, Division, written by an enlisted man, and talked about the invasion of Russia and going into Belarus, he talked about his fellow soldiers, and about a... Uh, officer, his officer that was over him, who was a captain that he highly admired and all this, and I said, these people are the same as we are. Uh, soldiers and the army right. to fighting for their country, and soon you begin to realize that there's nothing unique about the Germans, except if you want to call them, say that they're unique, they're uniquely civilized and cultured and capable as a people. Right. And when uh, I started to realize that, I, it put a, a whole new twist on, on the, on, I began to see that the way the Germans were, was, were are portrayed, were and are portrayed, is pure, the result of propaganda. Right. Pure and simple. 